my lovely wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome, welcome. So grateful you chose me today. Um, if you could, please subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any videos, like the winner video. Um, like, like is, is special and important. Comment. Um, yeah, just, I'd appreciate it. So today we're going to do the um, winner of all three months of the Battle of the Boxes, this late summer edition, we are done. And um, I'm all, then I'm also going to uh, go over the boxes that I am getting rid of and the new ones that I have um, chosen to bring into the fold. So um, I'm gonna, the, okay. So I'm taking with me to Minnesota my old brother machine, and it has been in the basement for a while. And uh, Tom brought it up, and I opened it up, and I swear that I have never cleaned under the plate. Like, it was yuck. It, there was so much stuff, and I'm thinking, this poor machine is not going to, but... So I spent a lot of time cleaning it up, making it all happy, and I put all the bobbin and everything in, and that puppy ran like a dream. Like a dream. I, that, and it's, it, it's old. It's an old brother, but boy, it, does, it's, it, it doesn't do much special, but it does it. So I was excited about that. But the place that I usually film is now full of sewing machine and packing things and uh Tom would um scold me if I picked up that machine and moved it because it's heavy and you know so we're gonna just we're gonna make do so um, I'm gonna try and turn the camera so that it can look at what I'm looking at and um we'll cross our fingers so here we go Alrighty, here we go and it comes as no surprise that once again, the winner of the Battle of the Boxes is Open Gate. Open Gate, if somebody said to me, you need one box, you need to pick one box, it would be Open Gate. Coming in number two is the Bear Creek Quilting Grunge Club. That's a surprise to me. Uh, I love it, but number three is the Sewers Club Project Box. Four is Fat Quarter Shop Sew Sampler. Five is Cotton Cuts, the Java Box. Number six is the Quilted Cow. Number seven is the Intrepid Threads, Tilda Creating Memories. Eighth is the Ginger Quilter. Nine, the Common Thread. And then these are the ones that um, are, are either bi-monthly or quarterly or whatever, and uh, Cherry Wood was the winner of that particular category. But the, the one we really are interested in is Open Gate. Da, 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 da. Okay, so now we'll take a little time to look at what's coming up that I have, what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of, and what is new. Hang on, I need a drink. Okay, so in no particular order, let me see if I can get a little closer. There we go. Um, I'm keeping Open Gate, Intrepid Thread, and um, there's now I'll be getting three boxes from the Intrepid Thread, but we'll go into that in a minute. Ginger Quilter, Cherry Wood, Creative Notions, Primitive Gatherings, Project Sweetwater, Sewers Club, and Let's Make a Bag. Um, a few of these are kind of on the fence. I'm waiting to see what they do with their Christmas, holiday, winter, whatever box. Um, like Cherrywood, if they don't step up the game, I, I, it's not happening. I'm not shelling out that much money for what I'm, what, so far, what we're getting. But they are new at this, and so we're going to usually... My rule of thumb is uh, three boxes. I give them three boxes to show me what they got. And then after that, er, um, yeah. Okay, so the ones that are making their exit 
you're out of here. Our uh, The Grunge Club, So Sampler, Cotton Cuts Java Box, The Fabric Bash, um, Got Your Back with the 108s, uh, Fort Worth Quilted Cow, and The Common Thread. Fabric Bash, although I, I did intend to cancel it, but the cards that I had on file with them uh, expired and I just, I didn't pay much attention to it. And they just sent me an email that said, your card expired, uh, you're, we've canceled your, or your card wouldn't go through, so we've canceled your subscription. Okay, if that's the way you wanna play it, then no problem. So um, those are the ones that are, are going. And these are the ones that are new to uh, the club. I'm gonna start getting the Intrepid Thread Liberty Box. This is a luxury Liberty Box. Um, it's always a beautiful box. I used to get them back. I think that was the very first box I ever, um, subscription box I ever got. And I haven't gotten them for a while. And so I thought, uh, let's, let's bring them back. I found two new ones on Etsy. One is So Happy Batiks. It's seven fat quarters for $30. And the other one is the Sunny Path Fabrics, uh, six half yard cuts for $47. Uh, those are monthly. And then uh, Cotton Cuts has a new Tim Holtz thing, uh, $18 a month. And they give you, um, I'm not sure if they're pre-cut or I don't know, but they give you enough stuff to make a block. And and then every month you get another, you know. Um, I have contacted Marsha from uh, Marsha Durst. Durst has a color palette club or a palette color. I, anyway, she has a club that um, I used to belong to. And you can choose fat quarters, fat eighths quarter yards, you know, whatever. And I'm choosing half yards because I use them all the time, especially for the behind me blocks. Um, yeah. So, and that is a hundred dollars and it's, it's pricey, but that's fabric I know I will use. So, and then finally, um, Annie's Holiday Quilt Club, they send out holiday decor, small projects kind of thing. Um, and that's $40 a month. Um, all of these with the, yeah, all of these are, maybe we'll see, you know, I'll get the box and I'll check it out and, and, um, we, they may stay on the list and they may not, but anyway, um, let's go back to the uh, other camera and we'll talk a little bit about, um, unsubscribing. Okay, so let's say you've got a box subscription and you don't want it anymore. The easiest way and the most, how I would love to see every subscribing company do is you would go to your um, account and manage your subscriptions and there would be a place there to cancel and you could just cancel and it would be done. And there are several that, that do that, but there are also several who do not. Um, usually there's some place where there's a contact me um, where you can send an email through them. Uh, that I've had pretty good luck with that, but honestly, uh, usually just give them a call. I, you know, it's, they don't, they want to make it difficult for you to unsubscribe. And I get that. I totally get that. But um, it would be nice if, if it could just all go down very comfortably. But anyway, uh, that's the, that's the lowdown. Um, I don't, and don't be afraid to call them. Uh, they're, they're, you, they're not going to go, what? You don't, you know, they're not even mad at you. They just, they'll, they'll help you out if they've got a decent customer service. And if they don't, that's another good reason to say goodbye to them. So <laughs> anyway, that's that. Um, I, if, I hope this is good information and that this helps you if you do want to get a box. So uh, it is gloomy here today. Yes. 
uh, windy, like crazy windy, and uh, I could not be happier. And in a week and a half or so, I will be happier going north. So uh, be well, be safe. Love you, bye.